How do you do? How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jackie Mason. I just saw the debate, which I'm sure you all saw. And don't you think it was an unfair, un a disgusting kind of a debate? Don't you think it was pathetic and insulting to the intelligence of the American people that you have a debate uh, between Barack Obama and McCain and all the issues that are really relevant uh, about Barack Obama's character and never was brought up and never mentioned? And the man in charge of it was, uh, was Tom Broker, the man who knows everything. And he knows that the only issue is not the, the economy and, and foreign policy, which we've heard about 100,000 times. In this case, more than ever before, the issue is the character of the guy running for president. I have one guy who was a hero and another guy by the name of Barack Obama, whose only associations and partners and his whole development of his whole career depended on either terrorists or, or haters of the American people, vicious and violent people. And one guy by the name of Bill Ayers who actually bombed a few buildings and he's still unrepentant about it. How do you sit with these people, work with them, how do they back your campaign and back every one of his campaigns? And he told a thousand lies about it. First he says he didn't know them, then he said he knew them only a little, then he says he heard of them but not very often, then he said they had nothing to do with him, he was only eight years old, he was nine years old. One lie after another, he was associated with them and still is to this day and proof has been found a hundred times of his connections to Bill Ayers and Wright and all those other people all of his life. He never in his life was associated with people who care about America and this is a guy going to want to run your country and it was avoided as an issue in this whole, in this whole debate. Tom Broker was in charge of this debate. He knew what he was doing. He planned not to bring it up. And he avoided purposely and consciously because he's a fraud and he's a fake and he should be condemned for the way he conducted this debate. The debate will go on about who won or lost this debate and nobody will be able to come up with an answer. But one thing is definite. The great loser in this debate was the American people. If you disagree with anything I said, offer your opinions and post them at this site anytime you want. <laughs>